What is up, people of YouTube? Welcome back to a fishing episode of Jake at the Lake. Today, we're working with some stormy conditions, but fish activity is through the roof, and it is almost 2.30. We're gonna be doing a number of things. We're gonna be slip bobbing for uh, bullheads. We're gonna see if we can catch one of these carp. Carp are just surfacing all over the place. I already jumped everything, so I just need to film it, rig up, and get out there. See? Third thing we're doing, and the most fun I've had so far. I've been out here for about 30 minutes and been doing this. Uh, fly fishing for sunfish with a dropper rig, which I'll explain in a little bit. Um, it's a good uh, beginner's fly fishing setup. So I'll go over that, teach you how to fly fish, and get started. In the meantime, let's not get rained on or struck by lightning. So anyway, so carp set up. Kind of impromptu because I have it rigged up for a bass fishing episode that I don't know when I'll do but it'll work for catfish, carp, whatever. It's a no snag sinker. I'll lay down to a little kale hook, which is gonna be no problem to these fish. It might actually help hook them better. Like I said, chummed out. They're still surfacing. We're just using corn. So let's just spread a few out. And I think this is a half ounce. Oh, it's a one ounce, Never mind. A little heavy, but it's gonna serve as like a bolt rig or something. So, got the sinker, two and a half to three foot liter. This is like six pound test, by the way, for carbon to a loaded hook. So let's get it out there. Let's pop it. Okay, so this is what I've been working with for the past 30 or so minutes, having a ton of fun, and it's a perfect beginner setup for fly anglers. So you can get this at like Academy, Walmart, whatever. They usually have a fly fishing combo that's like 40 bucks or 50 bucks, depending on price. I don't know. Bottom line is, about the cheapest fly rod you can get. Uh, eight foot, five to six weight fly rod, floating line. And then, as I said in the last episode, I don't like using tippet, because especially if you want to be budget friendly. So just use whatever line you have. I got 10 pound monofilament, and that goes to this little guy. That's just a little foam bug. That's actually used for zig rig fishing for carp. I don't need to, I don't really want to explain that because I've never caught a fish on a zig rig for carp. And I won't even explain what that is, because that's just weird. That's going to take too much time. 10 pound test mono to a foam fly and then six pound fluorocarbon about a foot to this little guy little it's called scud got this while i was in wyoming this is what they call a dropper rig you have a fly on top practically serving as what they call an indicator which is basically a bobber in fly fishing and this is small enough to catch in this lake we have in this part of the lake we have sunfish and even bullheads bullheads will eat this so but it's mainly something we're working with helicopters going ham. That, that's the setup. Really, really basic. Love it. And it always works. And also what I take when fly fishing, this is, I have everything on me that I need to go fly fishing. In my butt, I got six pound fluorocarbon, the liter to the scud. So I just have some spare liter because if you lose your whole liter and you don't have any spare liter, then you're screwed. And then my other butt pocket, I have a fly box that has just an assortment of flies and stuff just in case I break off on a fish, break off on a limb, especially this tree back here. And then around my neck, you basically need these for fishing regardless, but a pair of scissors or nail clippers, whatever you want to use, something to cut the line. And then a pair of forceps or a pair of pliers. So just something to get the get a hook that penetrate deep into the fish's mouth, get it out. So, and that is it basically for fly fishing. There is thunder, so I'm gonna make this kind of quick, but Right along here, what you're looking for, just tilt y'all a bit. These are like little pillars, they line this whole bay and they're busting right along the pillars. They're hiding in between the, you see this big crack right here? They're hiding in between that. So, there's plenty of ways you can cast a fly rod. Not too terribly difficult. Think of it like, there's a carp that just jumped. Think of it like cane pole fishing, like how most of us started out with a stick and some line. You didn't have to learn how to cast a reel or anything. So don't worry about this. This is practically your line holder when in this case. So we're just gonna take that line, hold straight up like that. Don't wanna put the fly line through the guys because it doesn't cast right. But I'll just do this, simply. And that gets it where I need, since I don't need to go out deep and there's fish surfacing like right, right here, I can just set it right there. And this is called a roll cast. I'm not no fly instructor, but this is about this, I, I know this because like you can do it with the cane pole, do it with a fly rod, you can even do it with a long fishing rod like this. And what I do, I'll, if you just hold still, this works, but you can make it look like an insect by getting it what's called stripping. 
I know it's not what it sounds like. You're just the fly line and not, you know, taking off your pants. So, that way you can do it, grab the fly line and just kind of pull apart and really just give it a wave action. There's a tree behind me, so I'm not gonna do that too much. This roll cast is just gonna be the main player. Not gonna have too much line out. It's gonna go like that. Yep, there's just something just blew up on it. Move on the indicator. Let's see if he goes for the scud. Usually if they eat the indicator and miss it, they'll come back, they'll see the scud drifting behind it, and they'll eat that. Yep, watch this blow up on it. Oh, they really want, there he goes. Yep, just like that. And there is your first fish on the fly ever. How about that? Ate the scud, blew up on it several times, and he finally ate the scud. See, it's not complicated. It's not like you're going, you don't have to go to Montana. You don't have to go to the Bahamas. Fly fish right in the local pond, local river, whatever. And just have fun catching these guys, getting used to it. So, yeah, we're just gonna throw them back. Nothing special. I've caught like 15 of those already. So, yeah, a little scud, a little dropper. And that is how you catch your first fish on the fly. Just like that there's a second fish on the fly ever and this one's bigger hope y'all learned something today with that little tutorial and uh yeah give these guys a shot they're pretty much in every pond and lake in across north america yeah they're super fun so see ya oh right there oh got it oh that's it Fight, these little guys and what's crazy about fly rod setup this is like a medium action compared to like a, your conventional fishing with a bait cast or whatever this would be the equivalent of like a medium action rod so the four weights and two three weights two weights you can go down size and those are a lot more fun for fish like this fortunately it seems like the smaller the, the more you downsize the more expensive they get so those just the rod itself, what I saw in like the fly shops and stuff, prices that's near like 400 bucks for just the rod. So, yeah, we're not trying to do that. So, we're just gonna stick with this, or you can do a cable, of course. You can fish with flies on a cable, and that would be considered fly fishing. So, you don't even need it. The carp rod just went slack. So, I don't know if that's just because of the raindrop. This sucker is done fighting, that's for sure. Looks like I'm like hung up on weed. Oh lord. Oh, now you're gonna take off. Oh, he popped off. I guess he was just tangled. I don't know, he was probably what, a pound maybe? Um, but yeah, we just hooked the carp in the rain. Let's see if we can get some more. Okay, gave the sunfish kind of a break. Turn back, back to me. Give the sunfish a break. Next one we catch, we're gonna use him as an example for the third method of fishing we're gonna use today. A little bit bigger than I wanted to use, but plenty, plenty of meat to work with. So, so slip bobber rig, classic slip bobber rig. Plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to rig one of these suckers. You need a bobber stop, you need a slip bobber, you need a way to get the slip bobber down. And in this case, since we're fishing for catfish, we got a jigged. And the main target is what I'm most well known for, bullheads. Do not mind jigs at all. So that is what it's supposed to look like. And yes, it does look like a pile of leaves, but those are guts, my G. It's pretty deep right here. About six foot, so I'm gonna set it just like that. And we're ready to go. And we're already there. Get a bit more of that. Oh yeah, we're already getting bit. Look, 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 look. You got him. That was instant. <laughs> look at that. Slip bobbins. We completed all three disciplines today. Look at that. We got the gut pouch still. We got a nice little bowl to go with it. There's our little guy. We're gonna put him back. 
But I get a lot of questions saying, well, I'm fishing a weeded bottom, and how do I catch those bullheads that are on the bottom in the weeds? Well, here's your answer. You can fish right above, you can fish right above that weed line to where it just comes up in the, in the water. This will suspend in the water, and they don't care. So, they just see it as free food. They will, they're basically the sunfish of the catfish family. They're stupid, so. This is not on the, on the bottom at all, so we're just gonna cast right back out there. And I bet you another one comes pretty quick. And this is how you fish on a weeded bottom. So you don't even have to deal with weeds unless they drag you down in it, of course. I think I'm already getting pecked at. There are sunfishes surface right there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and that was what, 20 seconds maybe? <laughs> I saw a comment where I got called being ballsy for putting a, my hand in a bullhead's mouth. I do not mess with bullhead spines, so that's how I like to grab them. And it's really not that bad. I mean, every fish is different. Some of them have sharper mouths than others, but I mean, look at that. It's basically sandpaper, so. And most of us has touched sandpaper before, so it's really not that bad. That's just how I like to hold them. So, second bullhead, see ya. Probably not smart, but the fishing is phenomenal right now. Oh, <laughs> immediately, dude, immediately. There are so many fish right here. Oh my goodness. That wasn't even three seconds and my bobber was already going under. Bye. Uh, there's a lake above us that generally, generally is the most, with the more popular lake. Oh yeah, look at that. See there, there we go. So that, this drain that's right here that's really deep, like six foot down, it brings food from the upper lake down to the lower lake. These bullheads, channel cats, carp, bass if they were in here, the sunfish, Every fish species is gonna line up at the front of that and get what they can. And with more flowing water, it means more nutrients coming in, and that is a good thing when you're fishing. Yep, oh my gosh, took that down. <laughs> Actually, this is a lot better than bottom fishing. Well, I finally lost my gut patch, so I'm gonna go rebait. See ya. Rain or shine, we grind. That goes for both running and fishing. Yep. In the rain. Dang. Fish are getting bigger. Quality fish. I mean, that video, that my most popular video, I catch like bullheads over a pound on the regular. Yeah, that's one of the bigger ones. Check that out. See? All right, get that. It's fun, I like fishing in the rain. We don't get to do it often. I mean, it was 95 and not a cloud in the sky. Now it's pouring rain. I've been here for, I started this video 30 minutes ago and I've been here for an hour total. So, it's already a full day. I hate to say it, but this is gonna, this just keeps building all the way back and it's moving in. So, I'm gonna have to call it real soon. I know, we didn't get, we didn't land the carp for y'all, but hey, y'all learned how to fly fish and y'all learned how to, can you shut up, thunder? You thunder, you can suck my Y'all learned how to fly fish, and y'all learned how to catch bullheads on a slip bobber. I'm just the king of bullheads out here, man. Might as well subscribe. So, we killed them out here today. What a great day. And make sure to subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. A bad day of fishing beats a good day of anything else.